Hi, y'all. I'm Brooke Brown from Teach Outside the Box. Welcome to a very special YouTube edition of STEM Bins at Home. Many of you know that I love implementing STEM Bins in my classroom in all different ways. However, I am home now with my nine-year-old and my five-year-old, and I'm here today to give you lots of tips and tricks about how to use materials you already have around your house to keep your kids playing and engineering and engaging. So if you're not familiar with STEM Bins, I have some links that I will drop below that you are welcome to access to kind of see if you might want to implement them in your classroom at a later time. STEM bins can be used from everything from morning work to early finishers to maker spaces. And STEM bins are simply bins of engineering materials for parents that are watching. Anything your kids can create and engineer and invent with can be included in a STEM bin. So in a classroom setting, I usually apply task cards to these where they have real world structures of things to invent with. Um, in the home setting, obviously this is going to be a lot more flexible because we are gonna be using whatever we happen to have on hand. So if you do not have bins in your home, it is completely okay. Um, if you don't have baggies, that's completely okay. Some of you may have just piles of things to create with. Um, your kids' imaginations are going to do all the work and that is the beauty of STEM bins. So I'm gonna share five different materials with you today that hopefully you might already have around your house and some cool projects that are gonna keep your kids excited and engaged during those long days. So the first material hopefully you have on hand, and if you don't already, I highly recommend that you start saving them, are paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls, which may not seem all that exciting, but there are so many different cool inventions that your kids can make with these. Um, looking at it at first glance, it may not seem very exciting. What are our kids gonna do with these? They can cut and change them and glue them and put them together with other materials in so many different creative ways. So just some little tips and tricks. I can cut them lengthwise like this. They can also cut them into smaller sections like rings. You can cut slits in the side to connect them to make different structures. But I'm gonna show you some of my very favorite projects that my kids love, um, ones that you can do at home as well as in a classroom setting. So one of my favorite things that you can do with paper towel rolls is your kids can construct a model of a paper playground. And sneaking in some science here, this is a great way to emphasize um, the importance of simple machines and how simple machines make work easier. So your kids can make slides, they can make swings, they can make seesaws, they can make merry-go-rounds, um, teaching them that that slide is actually an inclined plane and a seesaw is actually a lever, really tying in those scientific concepts. Your kids can even test them out with little minifigures and um, gummy bears any small kind of toys that you have around your house um, so it turns into a play setting as well. So another one of my favorite projects that you can do with toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls are making marble runs or marble roller coasters. You can make these on the ground kind of using different levels that are shown in the picture above or you can make them right on the wall if you happen to have some painter's tape available. This kept my kids busy for hours today. In fact, they took a break and they're gonna go back to it. Um, check out the awesome inventions that our family made today. Yay! Yay! Solar energy. And then this is working energy. So very cool overlaps with gravity, even momentum, potential, and kinetic energy. Um, and something that's really going to keep their minds working and busy for a long period of time. So I have a choice for with all different kinds of other ideas for you for creating paper towel rolls, the inventions with paper towel rolls. So the link below is going to be um, this choice board where your kids can choose from any of these projects. They're very open-ended, so keep in mind you can use these with really any elementary age kid. Um, one of my favorite projects that my daughter made yesterday is this launcher toy. She actually did this on her own. She's nine. Um, so if they're a little bit younger, they may need a little bit more assistance with this project. In the center of the choice board, you can see that there's a QR code. So all you have to do with the QR code is get a device and scan it, um, and it will get you to a video tutorial so your kids can make these launcher toys at home. Um, they can also make mini planters um, kind of for your window or for outside. They can put peanut butter and bird seed on a paper towel roll and turn them into bird feeders. The possibilities with paper rolls are truly limitless. Another one of my kids' favorite materials to create with at home is mini cups, um, or simply any kind of cups. If you have standard size cup, any shape and size will work. Um, the standard mini Dixie cups, the paper ones, are some of my kids' favorites because they're very easy to store. Um, they can make small towers, they can make huge towers, but they also love building with the big plastic solo cups as well. 
So these plastic cups, these colored ones, I got off of Amazon. Um, and I'll drop the link below for those. It makes it a little bit more fun to add a little bit of color sometimes. Um, and these are going to be one of those materials, guys, that you're really going to let your kids' imaginations run wild. Um, so I typically don't give them a whole lot of targeted challenges, but I'm going to give you some ideas to kind of get them started. Um, one of their favorite things to make, obviously, is the tallest possible tower. Um, they will compete with one another. They can compete with siblings to make the tallest towers. Um, they also love knocking those towers down. That is one of the more fun parts about this particular type of engineering material. Um, my kids love it when I even get out my camera and we record the knockdowns in slow motion. It makes it even more magical for them. Um, but here's some more targeted challenge ideas if you would like to give them something uh, more specific to work on. So one of my favorite challenges I give my kids at school is to build a fort, um, either a mini fort using mini cups or a life-size fort using the big ones. So for the little ones, they can build little forts around stuffed animals or action figures or toys that they happen to have lying around the house. Um, they can make different types of castles, different mazes that go in and out of their forts to kind of keep their animals safe. Um, something that's pretty fun to do at home as well as in the classroom. Your kids can also make vehicles out of mini cars using a few additional materials. My son, who is five, absolutely loves building vehicles out of anything. So this is a project that he particularly loves. So for the wheels and axles on this car, you're going to need straws, toothpicks, and something for the actual wheels. So either foam balls, um, you can also make cardboard circles for the wheels as well. Um, get creative, but this is one of my favorite simple ways to make vehicles at home. So here's some other ideas for ways that you can inspire your kids' inventions with mini cups. Again, they can choose anything from this board. Um, their imaginations are going to run wild. Um, if you would like to teach them how to make a string phone, kind of incorporating more science of sound in a particular challenge, you can scan the code in the middle of the chart and it will give your kids a tutorial for how to make one of those. But make sure to pull out those cups and see what your kids can create. Next up, we have Kiva planks or wooden planks. If you do not have Kiva planks in your house, if you happen to have a set of Jenga blocks, these work in very much the same way. I will drop some links for uh, different types of packages that you can purchase of Kiva planks. We have huge tubs of these in my class because there are so many different things that you can engineer with Kiva planks. So some simple ideas for your kids. Of course, they can build bridges about just about out of anything. Um, the Kiva planks lend themselves very well. They can also do different types of weight tests. They can put pennies and um, they can put canned goods on top of their bridges to see how many um, different cans it will hold without collapsing. Um, they can also build towers and skyscrapers and all different kinds of geometric forms. Um, great kind of overlaps with math there. One of my other favorite activities that I like to do with just about anything, um, and I do this with my first and second graders every year at the beginning of the year, is they construct their own chain reactions. So kind of think creatively when it comes to things you can gather for your kids to make chain reactions. Of course, Kiva planks are a wonderful addition. If you have dominoes, those work beautifully as well. Um, anything that rolls like toy cars and marbles and challenge your kids to build the longest or most elaborate chain reaction. Upper elementary students could even get on rubegoldberg.com and look up some more sophisticated, um, different types of chain reaction inventions that might be able to inspire them. Something that my kids at home absolutely love. So you can also visit kivaplanks.com and if you click on ideas at the top, there is a huge library of different structures um, and tutorials for how to build those particular structures. And you can see that they get pretty sophisticated, especially for those upper elementary kiddos to really keep them challenged. So here are some different ideas for other things your kids can create using wooden planks or Kiva planks. Of course, as I mentioned, the skyscrapers, and um, they can make ramps and traps, pieces of furniture. If they scan that QR code in the center of the chart, it will take them to that site that I showed you just a little while ago for a huge library of ideas. Um, so make sure to break, break out those wooden planks and see what your kids can create. Next up is my personal favorite engineering materials. I know it is many of yours as well, which is Lego. Um, I am a big believer that Lego needs to be in every home environment, boys, girls, young and old. Um, it is something that all ages can truly enjoy and invent and be creative with. If your family has not been watching the Lego Masters show on Fox, it is our current family 
favorite show. Um, you can stream it on the Fox Now app, or you can also just watch it um, on a device or um, on a computer. Um, but those challenges have really inspired some fun challenges in our home. There's been a really cool bridge building challenge where they determined which ones were going to hold the most weight. Um, they also had a storybook, like kind of building challenge with creative stories on their most recent episode. So I highly recommend watching that show as a family to kind of get your kids inspired and get their Legos out and try to be creative with things that they have. So here are some simple ideas for things that you might challenge your kids to do with Lego at home. Um, this challenge is a tabletop hockey game, which my kids actually did on a whim um, on an indoor recess day many years ago. Um, they created their own hockey sticks and goals. They even made a stadium um, with pucks. Um, and it ended up being just one of their favorite activities that they repeated time and time again. Anytime your kids can create their own games and something that they can actually construct and then play with after that is always a great application of Lego. So another activity that your kids can do with Lego is they can create a container, whether it is a new and improved crayon box or it may be a box for um, spare change or jewelry or candy. Um, this is a great kind of introduction to volume and capacity. Um, it is more challenging than it looks as well, so that's something that you can kind of challenge your little ones to do. They can also make marble mazes. Told you I'm a huge fan of any type of marble run, marble maze, and Lego is no different. You're going to need some base plates for marble raises. If you do not have a bigger one in your home, I'll drop some links for some inexpensive ones that you can get on Amazon. Um, and really their creativity can kind of run wild with this one as well. Uh, my five-year-old can do this challenge pretty simply without any sort of guidance from me. Um, and it's something that can kind of interact with and apply to all different types of force and motion. So you may not be aware that Lego has a how-to academy on YouTube with playlists of video tutorials um, that are really, in my opinion, um, more for beginners and intermediates. Um, there's a great bridge building one if you want your, to challenge your kids to do that particular type of structure. Um, and I will show you where that link is in just a little while. So this is the choice board for Lego. Again, Lego is something that your kids are going to run wild with anyway, but these are some simple challenges to kind of keep them engaged. Um, they love building big, so any type of dream homes or amusement parks. Um, vehicles, of course, are hugely popular among the little ones. Airplanes and cars, um, even a robot is something that um, my son loves to build time and time again. So if you scan the QR code in the middle, that will take you to the video tutorials on YouTube that I showed you just a little while ago, kind of just to give them more of a library of ideas if they feel like they are running out of ideas with Lego. Um, make sure to get out those Lego guys and enjoy them as a family. They are our, probably our very favorite family engineering tool. Last but not least, one of my very favorite engineering materials in the classroom as well as home is Play-Doh. And I hope you already have some of this on hand for these long days. I know we have big tubs of it here. Um, if you combine Play-Doh with toothpicks or craft sticks, really the possibilities are limitless. I'm going to show you some different ideas for things that you can use if you combine Play-Doh with other materials. So if you're wanting to dive into a little bit more of the academic side of STEM bins and looking more towards a math overlap, your kids can create different types of three-dimensional solids. So they can create pyramids and cubes and triangular prisms. You can have them count the edges and count the vertices on each structure. So the Play-Doh simply serves as the joints on these particular structures and then the popsicle sticks fill in on the edges and the toothpicks as well. Something that's simple and easy to apply to math. So I don't know about you guys, but my children, particularly my daughter, are very much obsessed with all of the baking shows. So any type of artistic element that they can apply with Play-Doh is something that I'm going to let them run with. Um, so creating any type of cake elements or baking elements or flower elements is something the kids can really, really unleash their creativity with. They can also make letters and numbers out of Play-Doh or even short words. These are letter and number builders that are found in my TPT store, and I will drop a link for those below. If you have a chart for 10 frames, your kids can practice rolling them in little balls, and they can make different numbers or even 20 frames, really applying those to those basic literacy and math skills. Now Hasbro also has a tutorial library on their website. So if you go to playdo.hasbro.com and click on how to at the top, it has a library of all different kinds of videos to inspire your kids' Play Doh creations. Here are a few more challenge ideas that you are welcome to download. If you click the, um, I'm sorry, if you scan the link in the middle, it will take you to the Hasbro library for all different kinds of ideas for things that your kids can create using Play-Doh. 
So I hope you guys are excited to gather materials around your home and create and invent together. Um, I know that we are in a very scary and uncertain time and we have to love our babies and we have to keep them close. Um, I'm enjoying this time at home with my family and trying to make the absolute best of it by playing um, and engineering and doing things together as a family. And I hope that you are as well. Um, I hope to talk to you soon and take care.